be fun to show you guys the community I live in here in Guangzhou for the next less than a month. So here I am right now in the lift heading downstairs and soon I'm going to head out of this building and show you the community. Hope you enjoy this. Walking out the uh, door of my building and so I'll be able to show you the community as a whole soon. Here's the outside of my community. Got a bunch of motorcycles and e-bikes parked out here. One of them is ours. Not going to use it today, but it's a popular way to get around this community. Up here, just behind our community, we've got this hill, Dafu Hill, or sometimes translated mountain. There's no real distinction between hill and mountain in Chinese. Parking lot. So let's have a look at the buildings themselves. Yeah, they're not small buildings, are they? Pretty flowers. And that leftmost, rightmost building is the one I live in. It's one of six that make up Rainbow Court. There are six of them, as I said, but the last one is numbered seven because there is no number four. Many of you may know that there is a tradition in China and a lot of other East Asian countries too of not particularly liking the number four. This is because it's a near homophone with the word for death. Four sounds like si in Mandarin. Death sounds like si. If you're not used to tonal languages, you might not even be able to hear the difference, but there is one. We got these nice fountains here. They come on about two hours a day. One on this side. Another one on this side. There's the clubhouse over there that we're going to go see later. flowers and this little play area it's pretty new the kids like it but we haven't been going here much lately just because the weather is so hot and humid now here in the summer in Guangzhou it can be really hard to stay out here for very long you may be able to see that I wasn't kidding when I said it was hot I've been working up a sweat walking out here and it's not like I've been running or anything just walking at normal pace here just across the road is the clubhouse as they call it there's a few little things here we got some restaurants this one here called camely garden i really have no idea what camely means but apparently that's what it's called there's a gym upstairs x fun fitness This little uh, laundry place here closed down, I believe even before the coronavirus pandemic made a bunch of stuff close down. Also used to have a branch of Bank of China here, but that's also closed down. Yeah, lots of stuff here is closed down. But there is some good stuff here. Here's something kind of fun. swimming pool we actually we like to take the kids here we took them here last night actually they have a lot of fun maybe we'll see it later from another angle this Primark here is somewhere between a convenience store and a supermarket in terms of how big it is so it's a nice place if you just want to uh, take a quick trip from your home and get something you need right here 
Uh, they say no photos, so I'm guessing they don't want me recording here either. But here's a basic look from outside of the kind of stuff they've got. Well, I'm walking down the sidewalk here. As you can see, there's a road over to my right. It's the kind of road that uh, cars can drive on. There's also a bunch of little footpaths around here that I'll show you in just a bit. So not everywhere you go has cars on it. You actually will hardly even notice it until all of a sudden it's like, oh, there's a footpath. And here it is. Going right behind the Prime Mart, that sort of convenience store slash supermarket I was by before. Up the step. Down some more steps. More steps. You can see they like to put plenty of greenery around here, make it look nice. And just around the bend here. It's a swimming pool again, same one we saw before. Get a slightly closer up look this time. Here it is. Lots of people having fun here. Over this fence. It's actually kind of a fun area crossing here. The, uh, this obviously looks a lot like there should be water in it, but it's basically always been dry ever since I've lived here. It's fun though, these things that look like stepping stones. They used to not have this railing, so it was a slightly precarious crossing, but I think they decided that too many people were using it and that it really needed to be made a bit safer. thing I never get tired of here in Guangzhou purple flowers and they bloom pretty much all year long here which is really nice you don't really get seasonal changes where you don't where you get no flowers I'm gonna be walking toward that little pavilion up there again past these things that look like there should be water in them, but there ain't. Passing the pavilion over there. I could cross here, but I'm not going to. Nice little reflecting pool here. I do like the landscaping they do here. Bridge here across no water. The pavilion up here. Along we go. Oh crap. I'm under attack by an alligator. Oh no. Oh, it's a stone one. Sorry if it's actually a crocodile, I can't distinguish them. If you look over there, you may be able to see there's another stone crocodilian over on those steps on the other side.
more houses over there. These are more villas and less apartments. Or flats in British English. Around the pool. Over in the distance you can see some more high-rise apartment buildings. I'm heading for that island type area in the middle where we have the stone alligator or crocodile. Plenty of green as usual. Pass under this arch. Over this bridge. Onto the island in the middle. This sign, which if I'm reading it correctly, is warning me, be careful not to have a coconut fall on my head from the palm tree. And if I'm not careful, well, I will bear responsibility for it myself. And here it is, the stone alligator. Needless to say, kids love climbing on that thing all the way down into the water if we'll let them. This area is called the Breeze. More high-rise apartments like where I live. Lots of water with some beautiful fountains here. And yes, this little area is one that's popular for kids to wade in. We always call it the fake beach. I'm not sure if there's any better name for it. Got these little things here. Kids sometimes like to exercise on them, but um, adults do too. Particularly the elderly. The elderly just love using those exercise machines here. I say machines, I mean they're machines in the very simple machine sense, but those are still machines, are they not? Nice fountains right here in the middle of this little artificial lake here. And here's a little bit of a panorama around the area. All these buildings And those over there are at Rainbow Court, where I live. This is one of the areas I usually run or walk through when I'm doing my exercise, which I usually do at night. Coming up on a little field here. People like to play here. Got some folks playing badminton over there. Some basic exercise equipment over there. And a bit more expansive field over here. Enough space to play like soccer or whatever you might be interested in playing. Got a bus on this side of the road. Um, these buses are provided by this community, by this estate, they call it. They only get you around the estate. You can't get them out to any other area of the city. But if you follow most of them to their end station, then you can um, get to connections to city buses. 
and those city buses in turn can bring you to the metro and various other ways to get around places. Another nice fountain up here. They do love me the fountains in this area. <laughs> the buildings here are not as tall as you can see. I am going to head back home now. Hope you enjoyed watching this little tour of just a small portion of the community I live in. If you did like this and you'd like to see more stuff about living in China, well, feel free to like and subscribe. Have a great day. Bye. Thanks so much for watching.